Let us try to isolate variables from equations in which fractions are involved. Here the question is to rearrange each of the following equation and solve for y. We have two similar questions here. Let me solve one of them for you. Here we have 3x plus half of y minus 3 equals to 0. The other one is x minus half of y plus 3 equals to 0. You can pause the video, solve these questions and then look into my suggestion. Well, one way to do these questions is that we can get rid of fractions. That is to say, here we have 1 over 2. If I multiply every term by 2, then we will not have fractions at all. And then it becomes a simpler equations to solve. So that's a way. Second way is we follow the normal method. That is, we need to solve for y. That means isolate y. So we'll take all of the terms on the other side. So we have half of y equals 2. When I take 3x to the other side, I get minus 3x and minus 3 to the other side gives me plus 3. To get y, let us multiply both sides by 2. So if you multiply both sides by 2, you get y equals to 2 times and within bracket minus 3x plus 3. It is very important to place the brackets. Since we are multiplying every term here by 2. So at this stage, what we are doing is we are times this by 2, times this by 2, and times this by 2. Right? All the three terms are multiplied by 2. It's not square. Multiplied by 2. So 2 and 2 cancels, you get y. right? And here, 2 gets multiplied with both of them. Okay? Now, you can expand applying distributive property and get your answer. So y is equals to minus 6x plus 6. So that is how you can write what y is. Now in this let me show you how to do it by getting rid of fractions. Getting rid of fractions means you have common denominator of 2. You can multiply each term by 2. In that case when we do times 2 every term what do we get? We get 2x minus y plus 6 equals to 0. Since we have to isolate y, we can add y on both sides. So we get 2x plus 6 equals to y, right? So this step is add y on both sides. So whatever we do here, we do it on both sides. Remember that since we are solving an equation, right? So that is how we can easily isolate y. So what do we get here is y equals to 2x plus 6. So that's an alternate method of doing a similar thing. I hope that helps. Thank you.